Today I'm gonna be retelling this fascinating tale involving a couple of princes, a magical hare and some crocodiles. So strap yourselves in for this remediation of the hare of Inaba. With some additional creative changes to the story just because it fits the aesthetic. Hare of Inaba, a popular Japanese fairy tale from 1892. So there were 80 brothers who were all princes of their kingdom and they all picked on the youngest brother because they're dicks. The youngest prince who was kind hearted and good unlike them. Which didn't help his case. They all decided to travel to Inaba to marry the princess Yakami and decided to bring their younger brother along just to carry their luggage because they're evil like that. On the way there, they met a hare with all his fur plucked out, lying down in agony. The princes decided to help by cruelly pranking the hare by telling him to bath in salt water and lay down on the hot mountainside, which just makes me wince reading this. And the hare, of course, listened to them and ended up even more miserable than it originally was. The young prince arrived much later as he was burdened with carrying the other prince's luggage and asked the hare what happened. The hare told the prince that he wanted to reach this kingdom from a neighbouring island and in order to do so, he convinced all the crocodiles in Japan into forming a bridge for him and the crocodiles somehow resisted the urge to eat the hare so they formed the bridge and the hare crossed there safely. But just as he was about to get onto the kingdom, the last crocodile just snapped at him and he ended up with all his fur plucked out. Only for the other dastardly princes to further mutilate his body. The kind prince had a conveniently insane amount of medical knowledge and told the hare how to actually grow his fur back. And it worked. The hare's fur grew back as thick as it ever was. Turns out that the hare actually had golden fur which indicates magical powers and he told the prince that he could marry the princess and that his brother's fates were in his hand. The kind prince soon realized that he shared some of his brother's evil traits and subsequently put them in prison to rot for the rest of their lives. He soon married the princess and they lived happily ever after. Except for his brothers of course. And let that be a lesson to all you millions watching this video right now. If you come across a talking animal, just do what it says. The end. And that, my friends, was a visual retelling of the hair of Inawa. All credits will be included in the description as well as a link to the original short story. Have a great day.